Hey guys and welcome back to another Bloodborne video. Uh, this one's going to be a real short one. It's going to be the first video uh, outside of the 100% uh, walkthrough. Uh, just because I'm getting kind of quite far into the game now and there's a few hidden things I've been finding. And it's probably worth mentioning just in a single video just in case anybody's interested or anybody tries to search for that so they don't have to look through the whole 100% walkthrough uh, just to find their item they're looking for. So anyway, um, we're in the Forbidden Woods. We've got the... Uh, shortcut activated from the first lamp, so we're going to go through here. We're going to come to this area with great big graves. Uh, well, what we're going to do is gonna, we're going to stick to the left. Uh, I still actually am, I haven't actually mentioned what we're getting in this episode. Uh, but anyway, in this episode, we're going to get the grave guard mask, as you probably see in the title anyway. Um, so to get this, all we're going to do is, once we're into this um, area, like I said, with all the big graves, stick to the left. Um, there's a few other items we can get anyway, but I'm going to show that in the 100% walkthrough. So don't worry about those. Uh, we're going to stick to the left. I'm sorry, sorry about all these um, weird camera changes. Uh, this actually out of the video. I was exploring it. Um, but like I said, there's no really losing it. Just stick to the left. You really can't lose yourself. You can drop, you're can drop. you going to have to drop down to the, where this item is near this tree. Uh, on this level, there's going to be this little enemy here. I think he might actually drop out of the tree. I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, to the left of here, we will see this kind of tiny little um, gap here. So we can clearly jump that. So we're going to get a little speed up here and jump across there. So yeah, uh, the mask's going to be right here in front of us. And if we want the rest of the outfit, which we obviously do because it looks quite sick. It looks like that um, Dark Souls 1 outfit. Uh, all we have to do is drop down one more time to get the rest of the outfit. And yeah, guys. Uh, so if this was useful, please go like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.